surprising and uh, of course a sheer delight because we hardly ever see each other. Well, I've been asking them what they do. So really stupid questions like, do you still act? Are you still alive? Are you well? Do you want a chair? You know, all that sort of thing. I have a very kind nature. Well, because Alf White, James Herriot, was a brilliant writer, he was a brilliant storyteller, and it all started, as you probably know, with him telling stories about his life as a vet in the pub. And the, his friends in the pub would say, tell us more, tell us more. And so he developed a style of telling his stories. And then I think it was his wife who said, for God's sake, write it all down, because you'll forget it. And then he started. And it turned out, to, I think, a bit to his surprise, that he was a very fine writer. The scripts weren't always great, because they weren't written by Alf. They were written by various people, and they got various writers. And the ones at the beginning were very good, because they adhered to the books and the original stories. Then we ran out and um, some second-rate writers dropped in. And in that sort of case, I used to make up my own stuff as, as often as I could. Yes, I tried all the time to go where the stories existed in the book. I tried to have recourse to the book because it was all the stories were brilliantly told. And one, one was very fond of Alf White, James Herriot, and uh, it was so much more sensible to go straight back to the book and use it. Oh, yes, I knew it very well. And there was an ugly moment early on when they said, the BBC people said, we're going to do it in Derbyshire to save money, BBC. And I made for the door and said, if you do it in Derbyshire, you do it without me. And eventually they changed their mind. I think Alf was determined it should be in Yorkshire. So was I. And I knew this part of the world because I had friends and relations up here, and I knew it very well. And I knew you couldn't fake Yorkshire anywhere else. It's very beautiful, it's enormous, and it's full of joyous people. And they are hospitable, they are kind, they are uh, knowledgeable, and, and very, very hospitable people. And I recognize the moment I crossed the border into Yorkshire, I noticed the difference immediately. Oh God, I don't know, you're joking when you ask that question because we worked from, off and on, from 77 to 90. So my memories are thick and many. But I mean, there are occasions, there are occasions when it was so cold because we used to film through the season. And there were many occasions when it was so cold, we couldn't actually speak. And we had to stop filming. And the 77, 78, 78, 79 were the two coldest winters that this part of Yorkshire remembered. So we had a tough time. It was pretty tough. When it went well, it was glorious. Uh, when it when badly it could be held. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Which was all right for me because uh, I'm a country bumpkin and the idea of 
veterinary medicine I grew up with, you know, and I used to, the vets were ever turning up where I lived, my home, because the cattle went wrong and the horses went wrong. So it was, uh, I couldn't believe that I was really at home. Well, I know it is extraordinary, isn't it? I think as it got together, although not all of it was as good as some of it, I think overall people really enjoyed it. It was simple, it was straightforward, it was honest, and most of it was absolutely true. You know, when we went up the back end of a car or a mare or whatever, we did. Oh yes, he was wonderful. He used to be around, he's shy, he was shy. And not keen on publicity. And he was often there. And one would see him peeping over a wall, watching how we did. But he never put himself forward or got in the way of filming or anything. No, he was a lovely, lovely man. As his whole, all his books and his storytelling and his life demonstrates. He was a great man. Well, if I don't know whether I did learn from him how to be a, a good man. I don't think I did, probably. But he certainly was a good fellow. So if I wasn't, if I didn't learn from him, I was a damn fool. <laughs>